So I know that you guys have identified a couple of sites that are doing things right. You want to start there? Yeah, we want to show you, like, uh, uh, most of those are, I think, s well, those are some of our customers' websites, so the websites that they built using our platform. And um, we like all of them for different reasons. Maybe, Dave, you can explain why you like Tyler's uh, Tyler's homepage to the image and sure yeah I mean there's there's certain elements that we like to see on a homepage and one of them is a, is a nice professional photo or header image and uh, Tyler so we like to use because you can immediately get a sense of what kind of music Tyler plays based on that image so you land on the site and you can see you know he's a live performer probably playing piano and he even has a descriptor there singer songwriter piano man so you you know right away what Tyler does you know, other elements we like to see are your latest news to show your latest activity, what you're up to in your career, um, a call to action, uh, what do you want your website visitors to click on first. So he has a new album available now. So he has a clear image on his homepage sending people to his store, store yeah. To, yeah. to buy his new album. Um, other things on the homepage, like having your social links, you don't have to have all your social feeds, um, but having them somewhere, is, if someone only has a couple minutes to check out your website and they want to connect with you on social media, give them, make it easy for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, a mailing list sign up, which Tyler has as well, which is super important, because email sounds a bit old school, but email no, is still the best way to keep in touch totally with people happening. over the yeah. long term. I mean, yep. you know, it, it, wouldn't it be great if you could download your MySpace fan database and bring it to Facebook, but you yeah. can't. But you can keep an email list no matter what provider you you're using. Yeah. So it's still the most reliable way to keep in touch with your fans. So we encourage all artists to have a mailing list sign up on their homepage. You know, Benji Rogers just wrote a really good piece for. Oh, that was great. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah great. just a, a, exactly yeah. what you guys are talking about, and it's true. I mean, we see that. Um, I see that all the time with uh, you know a lot of students. One one question I have about Tyler's page here. Um, this image, you want to be sure um, it's not too big, so you're pushing content down beneath the fold, yep. right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. The, anything that shows up above the fold, that means uh, the, the content you see without m having to scroll down mm -hmm. is the most important. So in this case, it works because this image is big enough. I think that's a, that's a nice you know, ratio. Mm -hmm. It's big enough to make an impact, but it's not too big that we don't see that his new album is out. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, definitely that's important. I can show you a couple more. Actually, let me, let, I have one yeah. more question about Tyler's. So right now, Tyler is focused on his music, his new album, right? Yeah. Um, so if Tyler decided to go on tour um, and he wanted his tour dates to be front and center, how easy is it for Tyler to adjust his Banzoogle page for this to be tour? In Banzoogle, it's extremely easy. Yeah. It just goes into his control panel. And actually, I think I have... Um, I have a control panel open here, and you would go into uh, go into edit his pages, and then click his um, is m the music feature, yeah. or, get, or I guess in this case it's an image that he put there, and just click to move it, and then move it to wherever he wants. Great, so it's a real so modular thing. So it takes thing. it takes yeah. two seconds. Yeah, it's extremely modular, moving all these things around, mm -hmm. adding a new feature is a couple clicks. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, super easy. Nice. Um, Melody Walker is also a good uh, example I like to use for a home page because uh, like it, it fits well with her branding. What I like is a big play button, either a video or, uh, or a track. It, like it can be one of our one of the band's Google music players or a SoundCloud player. Mm -hmm. But instantly you get to her website and you can you can jump into your, her music and I'm assuming it's one of her best videos. There's clear links to Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, call to action to check out the new album, mailing list sign up, tour dates, recent pictures. She could probably do without the the, the counter, the visitor mm. counter. That's very old school, yeah. but you know, she she can keep it. But that to me is a very good example of a simple, uh, somewhat dynamic homepage that works for both you know a new fan that maybe has never heard of music for a mm. loyal fan, but also from someone who's from the press or a journalist or a booker promoter. Uh, her menu is very clear and clean. Home tour, listen, bio, images, video, press, contact. Mm -hmm. So to me, that's a really good example of a simple website that just works. I have a couple of questions here. Sure. So um, as it relates to Banzugo, I, you know, I see that um, uh, Melody Walker is sending people yeah. to Bandcamp to buy. So um, can you talk a little bit about Banzugo? You, if, if Melody wanted to, she could embed like a top spin email for media widget here if she yep. wanted to, or um, a top spin e-commerce. Uh, yeah, yep. she can. Well, one of the features that you can embed into any Banzoogle page is is HTML code. 
Yeah. So whoever provides you with HTML code, yeah. you can embed that into uh, your website. So in her case, she, and I can show an example like these guys, they also use Bandcamp. They embedded a Bandcamp player here mm -hmm. so that people can click buy and go straight to Bandcamp. Right. You can do that with Topspin. You can do and that with a fan bridge. Yeah. With a fan bridge, uh, mailing list sign up widget, with Reverb Nation widgets, with Nimbit widgets. Mm -hmm. um, Official.fm is another one, right? Official.fm, mm -hmm. yeah. SoundCloud players. Yeah. Even YouTube YouTube videos are an embed. You can you can embed it straight, but if you want to change the size or the the format or add a video, a uh, Vimeo video, mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's super easy. So uh, in her case, she likes to have her store on Bandcamp, yeah. which uh, I guess works for her. She could also have a store on Banzoogle yeah. and uh, have people buy straight from her own website. You can, you can do one or both or you know, one or either. Okay. Um, one note about widgets, uh, one of the most popular widgets that we see on, on musician websites are Reverb Nation's widgets, uh, music players and things like that, the calendar widget. And they recently updated to HTML5 because they were Flash widgets mm -hmm. for, for a long time. And so anytime we see artist websites using the Flash version, we, we encourage them to go back to their Reverb account update the HTML5 because the Flash widget won't show up on iPhones or iPads That's or right. mobile devices. So you won't, people won't be able to hear your music. They won't even see the player. Yeah, I mean, that's so important. There was a report that came out about a week ago. Um, I think it's the Future of Digital report. Do you guys see that? Um, where, yeah. I mean, it's just massive. Like mobile it's, is yeah. where it's going. So anything yeah. that doesn't work on mobile, it's a problem. Exactly, yeah. yeah.